With the Music Master I Like Music Store integration, you can search for and download high quality licensed music tracks and metadata right from within Music Master. Even better, when you download songs, they'll be automatically added to your library with all the necessary metadata filled in for you. The I Like Music catalog includes thousands of classic and current tracks that have been licensed for professional broadcast. The service is intended for licensed broadcasters, such as radio, web streams, school, or in-store programming. ILM does not permit downloads for personal use only. ILM covers the mechanical or dubbing license, which permits the music to be used for broadcast globally. As with any other music you broadcast, you will still be responsible for reporting individual airplay to the appropriate performing rights organizations in your region. To use this feature, you need to be on Music Master Pro version 8 or later. If needed, you can download the latest version by going to the Music Master Help menu and selecting Check for Update. We always recommend you make a backup of your data before updating. We'll start by setting up the music store in Music Master. Open the software and select your station database. For each database you plan to work in, you'll need to set up the music store separately. First, go to Tools Options and select Music Store Options. Check the box for Enable Music Store. Next, select a metadata ingest mode. This refers to how Music Master brings in the metadata for songs you download. The default method is Add Songs for Downloaded Audio Files. As soon as you download a song, it will also be added to Music Master with the metadata filled in for you. This is the recommended method. Another option is Update Songs when file names are added. This is for users who have an automation system workflow where songs are ingested to automation first and then later synced to Music Master. With this method, Music Master will not immediately add downloaded songs to the library, but instead it will wait until it sees a song added by the automation system that has a special ILM store file name tag. Then it will automatically retrieve and fill in the remaining metadata from the store. If you think this situation describes you, contact Music Master Support to see if your automation setup will support this method before proceeding. Finally, there is an option to disable ingest, so that when you download songs, they are not automatically added to your Music Master library. Note that if you change your mind later and want to add previously downloaded songs, you can use the Scan for Missing Files button to find songs in your ingest folder that aren't already in your library and add them for you. Next, set the folder you plan to download your songs to. You can choose any folder you'd like. While your Music Master Station database is open, it will be watching this folder. When songs from I Like Music appear in the folder, it will add them to your library. Music Master only looks for songs that have the special I Like Music ID numbers in the file name, so it's important that you don't change the file name when the song is downloaded. Once a song has been added, you can move it to another folder if you need to. The reverse is also true. If you accidentally download a track to a different location and then move it into this special folder, it'll trigger Music Master to add this song to your library, as long as your Music Master database is open in the background. Likewise, if you happen to download music from the ilikemusic.com website, instead of from within Music Master, you need to have your Music Master database open in the background for the songs to be automatically ingested. We recommend you always use the Music Store from within Music Master. Notice the button at the bottom for Scan for Missing Files. This will scan your selected watch folder for any songs that may have been added previously. You might use this if you are setting up the music store in another station and want to use the same watch folder and songs. Set the ingest folder location and then use the scan button to bring in all the songs that you previously downloaded to that location. Note, you can also check this checkbox on to perform this scan on startup. If you want to be able to play back your audio in Music Master, you'll need to set your metadata ingest folder to the same folder you have configured in your audio file options. This is usually the location where your station's audio library is stored. Let's take a quick look at the audio file options. The audio file name location is the full path to the folder where you keep your audio files, plus the field number where you've entered each song's file name. Some users may have a combination of fields here. When you have this set up correctly, you can play your songs in Music Master by opening the audio player in the View menu or hitting F12 on a selected song. Next, choose which category you want your new songs to be added to. 
The default is your uncategorized folder, but you may want to create a new category specifically for this purpose. Once the songs are ingested, you can move them to any category you wish. Finally, you'll need to tell Music Master where you want the ILM metadata to go. Select your fields for audio file name, title, artist, album, and so on. The options on this list represent all the metadata that's available from I Like Music, but you don't need to use them all. If you need to create new fields for your metadata, you can do this in Dataset, Library, Fields. If you don't have any existing user fields to customize, you can create new fields using the Add Field button. Once you've created your metadata fields, go back to the Music Store setup and select them from the appropriate dropdowns. Now let's take a look at how the Music Store works. First, go to the View menu and make sure Music Store is checked on. The store will load in the Music Master web browser. Note that the Music Store is separate from the normal web browser panel, so you can keep both open at the same time. Some users like to keep their web browser open to view links which are stored as part of their song data such as an artist's bio page on Wikipedia. If you have both open, you can move and dock them wherever you'd like, or click and drag one over the other to create two separate tabs of the browser panel. For now, we'll just keep the music store open. You can also undock and move this panel to another part of your screen. Or click the pin icon to collapse it to the edge of the screen. Click the tab again to pop it back out. To get started, you'll need to set up an I Like Music account. Click the Menu button in the top right corner. At the bottom, click the Sign Up button. Fill in your contact info and under the Service Type dropdown, select Music Master. Also important, in the How Did You Hear About ILM box, you must enter the special code MM01. Once logged in, you can access the catalog of commercial and production music. Note that only commercial music will be ingested into Music Master. You can also purchase download credits by clicking the menu option. You can buy them one at a time as you need them, or purchase a multi-pack ahead of time to save money per track. If you try to download songs and don't have enough credits for them, you'll be prompted to purchase more at that time. After you click commercial music, you'll see a search screen. Here you can search for any value you want in the free search box, or you can specify a title, artist, or album you're looking for. You can also select genre or release year to bring up a list of songs that match. At the top, you also have a button to open ILM playlists. This will allow you to load charts like the Billboard Hot 100, new music lists, genre or era based lists, or music for special events and holidays. For this demo, we'll search for Blinding Lights by The Weeknd. There are multiple versions of the song. Right now, they are grouped together, but I can click See All to view them each. If I want to regroup the titles together, I can click the Group Titles button. If you make your window even wider, you'll be able to see the different album info and run times, so you can easily pick the one you want. If you click the Eye icon on a track, you can see all the metadata for each song as well as the download buttons. You can click the play button to preview each track. Note that the preview is in a compressed web format. Your download will be high quality uncompressed wave. You can click this icon to download the audio file with its metadata. Or you can click this button to only download the metadata. If you click this button, a window opens where you can select Music Master as your system. But remember, we recommend you use auto ingest so you won't need to do this step. Another option you can use is to add a song to a project. A project is basically like a shopping cart where you store a batch of songs for group download. You can add up to 25 songs to a project and then download them all at once. When you do this, the WAV files will come in the form of a zip file and you'll have to extract it manually to add the songs to your audio folder but each song's metadata will still be added automatically to Music Master. To demonstrate, I'll add a couple of songs to a project by clicking on this icon. To access my project, I'll select Project from the menu. Here I can see all the songs I've added so far. 
Clicking on the menu again, I have the option to download them all together or remove tracks. I also have the option to move my project tracks into a playlist. This is where you can store a list of songs for later reference or download. You can find your playlist in the menu as well. Here I can play back the playlist, save a CSV file, click the download button to add all the songs to a project for group download, share the playlist with an email address, or delete it. Note that if you click the download button to add all the songs to a project, they'll replace whatever project tracks you might have been working on at that time. If you have a different set of songs in your project that you want to keep, save it to a playlist first. Let's go back to the track search and look at what happens when you download a single track. For now, I'll just download this copy of Blinding Lights by clicking the download icon. You have the option to open or save the song. You'll want to click Save. Remember to navigate to the download folder you configured during setup and not to your browser's default. The Music Store panel will remember where you last saved a file and it will point to the correct folder next time. Also remember not to change the file name as this will remove the special tag that Music Master is looking for. After download, you'll see the song appear in the category you had selected for downloads. If you don't see it right away, double-click the category in the info bar to refresh. As you can see, all of the metadata has been included. If you don't see all the metadata fields you had previously configured, edit your library grid to add them. And then save that layout if you'd like. Another convenient feature is the ability to right-click on any song in your library and from there, search the ILM store for that song title or its artist or album. You can also navigate to the exact copy of the song. For example, if you've accidentally deleted part of the metadata for a song, you can replace it easily by right-clicking on the song and using the Refresh Metadata option. It'll pull the info back in from the music store. When you use the option to navigate to the exact song, Music Master creates a link between the selected song and whatever data you download next. If you change your mind and want to find and add a different song, first use the right-click menu option to release selected song. If you forget to do this, Music Master may not automatically ingest the very next song you download in order to prevent it from overwriting the previously selected song card. If this happens, you can use the Scan for Missing Files button to retrieve the new song. That's everything you need to know to get started using the I Like Music Store in Music Master. As always, if you have any other questions, please contact Music Master support.